Hey, good afternoon. This is Matt Rinkowski, otherwise known as Persimmon Pop on my YouTube, YouTube channel. Eva, uh, our grandchild, uh, gave me that name and she's doing the video, video in here. So thank you, Eva. All right, so today we're going to demonstrate a type of bark graft called arrowhead graft on a large diameter uh, persimmon seedling. This is about an inch and a half uh, diameter uh, tree, which you can see I've cut off. And so, let's go ahead and do it. The whole idea is to take advantage of this massive root system underneath here uh, and, and, and attach or fuse a better root tree on top. So, um, the idea with, with, a, um, with a bark graft of any sort, especially this arrowhead, is to make a cut which I've already done in the bark right here. See, I've made the cut. Then you use a bark lifter to spread the bark a little bit and create a little slot for your scion. I've already done the pre-work on this scion. And what you do is on one side, you make a shoulder or a notch right there, maybe a third of the way through the diameter. And then on the other side, you cut most of the bark off and you make a point here on the end, which is why it's called an arrowhead, all right? And then it should slide very nicely into this slot, which we've created. And that it should slide right up to the shoulder that I've created. Can you see that, Eva? Yep, okay. And then we're just gonna use grafting tape. to tighten the rootstock to the scion. And I'm gonna use a little, little trick here, which you'll see in a minute. I've already cut a couple of pieces of small stem. And I'm gonna place them right here on each side. And the reason is because you can see there's a little gap there. Um, and we wanna close that up as well as we can. to maximize the contact between the rootstock cambium and the, uh, and the scion. So as I tighten that and I push it in and tighten, it will, it will close that gap more. And that's the, that's what that little, those little two sticks do. And then just uh, finish with your grafting tape. Tie it off. And you've exposed a lot of, I've exposed a lot of tissue here on the, on the rootstock and also on the um, scion. So I'm gonna use a little grafting compound to cover that up, cover the top of the scion. And the other thing that we do with this technique, which works real well, is we use some aluminum foil, again, to protect the exposed tissue, keep it from, uh, from drying out. Close it all around there. And then we use a little uh, sandwich bag. You can start backing up a little bit now, you And then just use some other grafting tape to tie it. And that is a is a um, arrowhead graft on a, a inch and a half persimmon seedling. And again, the whole the whole objective here is to create a much better fruit uh, persimmon fruit tree on top, attached to a very solid and adapted and uh, and well rooted 
um, rootstock. Till next.